Well, as you can see, I'm wearing an official Travel Grandma t-shirt that I made with my Cricut. So I'm here in Memphis, Tennessee area, and I'm visiting one of my subscribers. She's actually one of my very first subscribers, and she joined my Travel Grandma YouTube uh, Facebook group, and we have become friends and just had all kinds of... Uh, conversations together she has the same almost exact 2018 minivan that I do and we're going to do a van tour of her van today so I'm really looking forward for you to meet Celia all right so this is my good friend, I'm going to say, <laughs> Celia. And, Hi. Yeah. And we're really pretty recent friends, but I think pretty good friends by now, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. So let me so, ask you one question. Okay. I'm just dying to know, what attracted you to watch my YouTube videos? Well, when I send messages to my grandchildren, I title the subject on their email, Where's my grandma? Ah. And then all of a sudden popped up on YouTube, travel grandma, and I thought, wow. So that's what got me going. So I think you were the first one, one of the first ones to see my <laughs> actual van uh, when I put my first van uh, build together. Yeah. No build build. Yeah. With the ottoman and all that, weren't right. you? In the garage, right. I think I was in a garage by yeah. that time. Yeah. And it was very interesting because I liked the way you put it together and the screens that you were doing on your and windows. And then I put the screens, yep. And I was just putting my van together yeah. because I bought it just before COVID lockdown and okay. then I couldn't do anything and I wanted to take my grandkids camping too. So Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember you posted that way back when yeah. I started the Travel Grandma uh, Facebook group. Yeah. And that has grown so well amazing it's a great it's great, a great support group. for yeah. a lot of women so that's great all right so let's go okay. over and take a look at your van all righty so do you have a silver one yes and it's the same year as yours 2018 mm -hmm. a and little bit different than because it has a little fancier than mine doors it has sliding doors automatic where mine don't mine's more of a base model and you have a console in the middle, don't you? Yes, in the front seat. Yeah, let's take a look There's at a that. There's a console. Yeah, see, and I don't nice. have the console. It actually has a drawer that slips so like the second seat could use it, but with my floor raised to be level, yeah. I uh, can't use that drawer, which is fine. Okay. Now, you did something a little different than I did. You had all of your seats taken out. Yep, I took all my seats out at first. I kept the one middle seat that was here, it was a captain's chair, so my little grandson could come with me and still wear his seat belt and booster seat and all that. Mm -hmm. And then when they moved, I knew I wouldn't be doing that until he grew bigger, so I just took out all the middle seats and the back seats. And okay. then I can use that area as storage. You have a lot of storage. Now. I have a lot of storage. Yeah. And moving across country like I did, I. I needed it. <laughs> yes, yes. And you moved from Washington area, Washington. right? Washington. Uh -huh. okay. And now you're down here. Now you're going to make Memphis area your base camp with yep. your family. That's right. And I think I'll still go on short little jaunts. Mm -hmm. In the summer, I may go back up to the northwest where I was. So okay. I still have those grandkids up there. Sure, sure. So. Got to make the grandkids round, you know? Exactly. <laughs> All right. So. She briefly gave me a tour yesterday. She has some very innovative things in here that I can't wait to show you. And I tell you, my van is really a van made by a village because everyone I stayed with along the way helped support my van by changing it a little bit better mm -hmm. when they saw a certain part of it. Okay. But basically, my son-in-law was the one who started building. Okay. So he did most of the basic. Part. All right. Okay, I have the usual 
toilet. Okay. But I did find one thing in there that really helps, and what? that is um, I use horse bedding pellets. And when they break down, uh, it's just like sawdust. But they use them for horses who are um, confined to their stalls mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And so that it makes it a lot easier to sweep out and clean out. And so that really, you know, makes a solid so I can just put it in the trash. Nice. Okay. So. Now, how, um, I have not seen those yet. Where I do you got store them a, those? Because don't you have to buy like a big bag? Yeah. It was a uh, 40 pound bag. It's like, mm -hmm. I have a huge area for storage under my bed. Correct. Okay. And so I put them all under there in a couple of buckets. And then I decided I wanted some of them some of them in a place that was easier to get out. And so I put them in another storage area. Okay. Good. Yeah, that makes a difference when you don't have the seats and you have so yeah. much oh, more possibilities. Have a lot of storage. Yeah. So all right. Okay, so we're gonna try to get in here. All right. I have a little, just like things I want to just pull out and use. I have a little towel and an, a little uh, first right. aid kit and just lights and stuff like that. Okay. Flashlights. Things that you use on a daily basis. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, then I'll show you that later. Okay. But this is my living room, the carpet. That's square area living room and then you have storage under here yes and i'm gonna i forgot i'll have to okay move the seat forward to open this storage and i put the carpet in and then put this under the carpet so it's easier on my knees okay so this is the biggest one of the bigger storage areas okay and this is kind of heavy to move out and right because we had the seat under it mm -hmm. my uh, son-in-law thought he'd always be here to move it for me. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he did something um, real interesting. He yeah. actually insulated this for you. Isn't that nice? Yeah, he insulated the whole floor. Yeah. So all the floor has this much insulation under mm -hmm. it. So. And then this is the storage under that seat. And I just have a few things under there now, but I actually brought a sewing machine and a bunch of sewing mm -hmm. things and little odds and ends. And this goes all the way through because I see other yes. storage on the other yes. side. And that's where you have all those pellets the, and yeah, things. Yeah, all the for, bathroom, yeah. paper towels, and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. So Terrific. Okay. Let me put this back. Yep. So this is my bed, right. and I started with a six-inch foam with two inches of memory foam on top. I couldn't sit up in the van. So was it a total of six inches? Total then? of so six. So four and two. Four and two. Yeah. Okay. Well, I still can't really sit up in my Not van. Not all the way. Oh, close. Yeah, close. Close, close but, enough. And I also found, uh, actually at Goodwill, mm -hmm. this wedge pillow so my oh, head yeah. can be up because I'm oh, older. That's good. And so I yeah. need that. Okay. I put extra blankets and my all my underwear in this so that I can change my clothes Good. inside. Good idea. And it just is another. This I have next to my bed mm -hmm. to hold my glasses and my phone. Oh, that's a good idea. At night so Very it doesn't convenient. get lost. Yeah. And this black stuff that I have underneath my bed yeah. is called Hypervent. And it oh, keeps it keeps mold from growing. Oh, that's a good idea. It's a little expensive, but it was well worth it. So it was a, like a strip. Where did you purchase that? It's um, Amazon. Amazon, huh? Yeah. Oh, let me see that. It comes in a roll. Let me see the top. Okay. So, Interesting. So it's like a fiber. What is it? Yeah, it's a plastic fiber. Plastic. Let me see. And then I just plastic cut it. Weave. Oh, okay. So let's find that on Amazon and put a link for people who okay. may be interested. Okay. In fact, I may be interested in doing <laughs> that in my van. Does it also help to not let it slip around? Um, or not really? Not really, plastic. because of the plastic. 
But you have something else under there that helps with not slipping. Don't you have another mat under there? Well, yes. And the reason I put this mat under is because this mattress was fine, except that my hip hit the hard. Okay. So you have one so of those. So I just have one of those big uh, rubber mats rubber under mats, there yeah. for my hips. Okay. All right. Most likely. Okay. Hit. And then you have a board going all the way across for, yeah. that your mattress sits it's, on. It's on a piece of plywood that's yes. built in. Yeah. And then it has... It's actually it's very the nice whole, plywood. Yeah. I don't think that's plywood. I think that's uh, maybe maple or something. It could be. It was nice plywood anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, I keep extra food in here and I'm a spice girl. Okay. And then there's more canned goods under this one. I have a plastic bin here. Mm -hmm. And... Then in the third one, over here, I have um, an ex extra towel and uh, sheets. Okay. Just and pillowcases. Mm -hmm. Now, what what are you using to keep yourself warm? I see you have a sheets and is that like yes. a little quilt? And this is a quilt top, mm -hmm. and this is a really heavy blanket. I basically <laughs> have just been sleeping on this, and I put the heavy quilt over me but when I was in Colorado mountains I put this and this and dressed and because it was like down to 29 oh, or goodness. 30 yeah so I I was cold till I figured out how to do it but I have other little wraparound quilts that I take with me too yeah layering up is something that I've yeah gotten real accustomed to yeah exactly <laughs> Okay. So, still in this area, my curtain yeah. attaches just with a bungee cord to the where the seat belt is. Okay. And then I can just pull it over to the middle on both sides. And you've got something built in there, like a little frame? Yes. <laughs> Another one of the village people. <laughs> <laughs> built Friends this, and family. Yeah, village friends people. and family. Built this... Uh, wooden piece to hold the the curtain rod mm -hmm. right in the middle here there's a little oh, knot nice. and then attached it over here in the plastic yeah uh with i don't know how he attached some it. screws it looks like yeah. some screws in there yeah yeah and then if i actually did want to take it out um sure i could these hold this middle piece in oh i see okay and we wanted to change this hook because it comes down too far so it leaves more space, but I left it for the time being. I also put a the regular mm -hmm. windshield cover. You in know the what front. you could do too? Raise this up, put a little seam right here, and I that'll could. cover the whole thing. Yeah, right here. Just make a double seam right up here. That's true. I could. You could because you have plenty of room. Look. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, we could do that easy. Yeah, let's do that while we're here. So anyway, that's my little curtain that I tuck in. All right. Bought this little box, you know, just a little plastic box. It's got a hard top. And mm -hmm. I just put in things that I might use for breakfast cereal and that kind of stuff. Okay. So I have a cup and a bowl and, or I can stop and make a salad. My refrigerator is right here, okay. so anything in my refrigerator, you know, I can use you know, what for lunch. What brand of refrigerator do you have? This is an ice co, and okay. it's a small one. It's twenty liter, I think. So I have a cover for it, which is nice. Yeah. And um, then the inside, just this much little space is the refrigerator and you can use this space for freezer mm -hmm. so it's a combo i don't think that's in there straight but right. and it, it, i think it's similar to mine where if you take that out you can yes. use the whole thing as a refrigerator refrigerator or a freezer you could do or the whole one. thing as a freezer yeah. okay and i really like it i'm vegetarian and so it's really nice to have like frozen vegetables mm -hmm. in a bag that you can just throw in a pot and okay. heat up yeah and put i also, I'm dairy-free, so I drink soy milk or almond milk or something, so I can keep that cold in there and mm -hmm. all that other stuff. So, anyway, I like my fridge. Great. And how do you power your fridge? Well, um, I basically, if I'm driving, there's a US, or not a USB, but a 12-volt right here mm -hmm. beside it, and here's the plug-in. 
Okay. So um, I just keep it going that way. And then when I get to a campsite, I use my um, jackery. I just have a 240 jackery, and it what? keeps it cold for about eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. Yeah. Um, if it's colder at night, I just don't worry about it. And it's already so cold in there that, mm -hmm. you know, everything is fine. When it was really hot in the summer, that would be a different story. But most of the time it was co cooler after, like, August in September. Mm-hmm. When I, September came this is your first know. year out, right? Yeah. After COVID. Yeah. When did you start traveling? It was August 9th. I started August traveling. August 9th. And did you continue to traveling after you left Washington? Or did you go back to Washington and come back out again? Well, or? I went to Oregon and visited friends and family there. Then I went to the Oregon coast and spent a week. I scattered my daughter's ashes on the beach. And then I went back to Portland and did some other things, saw some more people because I'd lived there for 35 years. So mm -hmm. there were lots of friends and family there. Mm -hmm. And um, then I took off. And the first place I went to was Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Mm, okay. So and I visited another friend there and stayed a while. So yeah. I got to know that area. So then I headed all the way. And all the way I here. didn't go back to Washington. Right. So. so you've been on the road since August. Since August. Three months. All right. So these little shelves over here. Okay. Coming <laughs> yeah. back in. Get in. Oh, wow. That's fancy. Are um, my bathroom, basically. Okay. And I keep all my... Uh, this is very soap nice and everything, built. toothbrush, everything, and extra stuff for the bathroom, mm -hmm. Kleenex and stuff. I have some hydrogen peroxide and alcohol mm -hmm. there. And take um, a look down here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and you have a uh, smoke alarm? Yes. This is a combination smoke and the carbon monoxide. Okay, and then there. you have a fire extinguisher, I think, is in your door. Yes, the fire extinguisher yeah. is in my door. This also was made by part of my van village. This is so creative. This is my chill bear and my grandson's bears. So. Okay. But I had this sitting back here for my books, and it was sliding around. Yeah. So my one of my relatives took this, made this tray, and then made these the size of the holes cup holders yeah the cup holders and uh -huh. like phone holder so it just fits in there that is brilliant and then i can put my books in here my books are in the house right now but yeah anyway that's so brilliant it fits perfectly mm -hmm. and is just perfect for it is perfect holding a library i love that i couldn't go without a library yeah <laughs> back and out almost need a beeper <laughs> so this is my kitchen area, okay. and I have this to kind of extra hold things in, but it also holds my um, shower tent. It's one of these fold-up okay. things, and it holds my uh, window covers. Okay, and what did you make your window covers out of? I made my window covers out of the plasticine, like, Car corrugated cardboard. Corrugated plastic. Yeah. Yeah. And then we covered one side with black felt and the other side with just some fun curtain mm -hmm. uh, material that um, a friend had given me. And mm -hmm. those are for the middle and back sides. This side doesn't have a curtain because it's all yeah. sealed in. We put reflectix back there, I can see. Yeah. 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 And I have one more curtain for this back. I don't know where I put it since we looked at stuff the other day, but we'll yeah, find it. Yeah, it fits up there, and it has magnets, right? Yeah, it has Velcro on the side. Oh, Velcro, okay. And then I have a Velcro mm -hmm. wrap that wraps around here, and it just hangs down. Okay. And it's black, and then it has that shiny yeah, iridescent work. cover on the yeah. other side. And it worked beautifully, mm -hmm. except... When there was a really bad rainstorm, and uh, the water wicked in, okay, down the curtain, and so the outside edges got a little wet. Got all wet. I mean, it was soaked. So I had. To I take wonder if. Out. 
I wonder if you could just use like a black curtain, like that's a plastic. Do you think that would help or not? I don't think it would help because because it's it was still not in sealed from up huh? here. Yeah, I'd like to put the curtain on the inside. Just have to figure out how this, to attach it. Huh? This stuff is textured, mm -hmm. and so Velcro doesn't stick to it. I mean. And you nothing. may have I've tried to just in, yeah. Oh, I've yeah. tried industrial Velcro and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is so. If anybody has any here. ideas for yeah. Celia as far as That'd how she great. can attach a curtain back here in her van, um, she has a 2018 Dodge Caravan. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. So, so for I, those of us that have never used. Or actually seen in person. I've seen them on YouTube channels. Your shower tent. Would you mind opening it up? Sure. It's supposed to be really easy to open up and take down. Uh -huh. It's easy to open up. Not okay. so easy to fold up in this little circle. All right. Well, we're going to do a little demo here. Yeah. This is live demo. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay because, you know, I still have to. <laughs> Trouble opening and closing my foldable. Now it has stakes uh, on the bottom to attach it to the ground. Oh, that opened up really it, quick. Yeah, it it really opens fast. And like I say, dressing it's room so on the tall. Side. I it's very tall. Short... How tall do you think that is? Well, here's the so see You're you're what about five four I'm five five four five four. So it's at least six foot, probably six and a half feet. Okay. So. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't have a bottom. It doesn't have a roof. Okay. And it just folds out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Helps if the wind Bring it back a little bit so we can see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. So, a little windy today. Yeah. But you can stake each corner from the inside. Oh, can you unzip it really quick? Would that be too difficult? Yeah. Okay. So it has zippers on the bottom and the. And does it have side. any place where you hang um, hang anything like a your like a shower bag? It or? has. Oh, I see. Where would you hang a shower bag? On the side. Well, you know what I did was just. I think I had a little stool when I used it out here, and I just put my soap and my. That, okay. But you could actually take the the stool So it's inside. really a dressing room one. Yeah. I think the ones that have a roof. That have could be hanging have a spot for a shower bag. What I did was um, I just undid the window a little bit and stuffed my towel and washcloth up in there. Okay. And then I put, I think I put my shampoo in here. So it has little pockets. Yeah, there yeah. is this thing on the side you could put a towel on. but. Oh, I see, yeah. Anyway. All right, now we're so. going to see how <laughs> this thing folds up. This. Do they have to zip it first, maybe? One of my... Um, cousins actually had to watch the video yeah on youtube several times to be able to get it to fold because we had a it's part... a pretty big one i didn't realize they were so big yeah i think this one's 36 by 36 okay yeah it looks pretty wide so all right so it folds that way yeah, you just fold it that down way. again and then get my wires out of the way here you have to fold it in half. Okay. Oh, I see. And it's already starting to fold inward. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I see. Fold it in and, half and in half. And, and then over again. Let's see. That's where I get stuck. I have to really think about it. Okay. Oh, here comes the master. <laughs> you want to help us? This is my shower tip. Are you to good fold. with that? <gasps> Are you okay being filmed? Yes. Okay. So it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. I used it up. Oh, in it the... has, actually has instructions. Yeah. Well, those instructions I don't think help. No. The video. The helps. video helps. Okay. Yeah. All right. Back to your yeah. tour. So. So this is my little folding stove that goes with my breakfast box. Well, can we see? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here. Well, let me take it off piece by piece. Okay. I had my folding shovel so out because shovel. it was wet. Now, what's the shovel for? Well, in case I have to dig a hole for, you know, uh -huh. what up in the mountains, or okay. move a rock, or yeah. get my tires unstuck, or good idea, whatever I okay. need. 
So this box was made by another of my village. <laughs> and it's made not completely rectangular because of yeah, the... Yeah, let's take a look at that. Because of the rounded side of the van, he... I see. ...made a, a slant yes. on it. And he put handles on all four sides of this box so I could nice carry it. Nice craftsmanship. Carry it. Whatever. Yeah. And then um, it just holds things that I get into a lot, but I didn't want to get into the low storage. Yay! Thank you so much. Andrew. I knew Yay! he'd do it. You're the pro. <laughs> he read the instructions. <laughs> I guess the instructions do help. So this is wait, my... Wait, wait, A man who read the instructions. That's amazing, huh? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. these are things that I would use often, like... Maybe I have a problem or something. I need gloves, even to get wood or something. Mm -hmm. Is that an extension cord? And this is extension cord for plugging in if I'm at a campground mm -hmm. or whatever to keep my fridge going. Yeah. Some matches. This is more of my pellets. Oh yeah, let's this take a look at the pellets. This is where I put the pellets. Mm -hmm. And this held held about half of them. Oh okay. This is a three gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So, okay. And what I usually do is double bag. Mm -hmm. So I have bags in here too. I double bag and then put those pellets in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. absorb smell too. Yeah, that's good. So, and I have a little shovel. Okay. And some more tent pegs. And this is netting with that special... Uh, adhesive that I think you should help me put bug nets <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see my latest um, screen video where I actually used um, window, uh, not window, um, screen spline that no. they use for screen doors? Oh, no. I'll ah, show you what I okay. did and you can decide what we I like it a lot better. Okay. Yeah, I had. I actually seen have one. some spline left over. We can do your windows while we're and here. If we're going to a Let's store to today, in. yeah. We'll do that. So that's okay. that's my just utility using, area. Yeah, utility box. And this table is so nice. I've just left it up with its support. Oh yeah. Uh, thing. Uh huh. Oh, uh, another of my village. So this is made just that. your top. You don't have a wood top. This is the right, top of it. Right. Well, he sense. was thinking that it would be double duty because you could put hot stuff on here, cut on yes, here. Yes, you can. Whatever. Well, maybe mm -hmm. not hot stuff. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, so, and it folds down like this if I, will, if I don't oh, want it up. Oh, that is a good idea. So he just got a long hinge. And yeah. I think they call that there. a piano hinge. That back. And then you have more storage down here because you took these seats out as well. Yes. Yeah. So, this is for my dirty clothes. Yeah. And then I can just stuff it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I had to wash these. So, they're... Yeah. I have, I've yet to remember to get marshmallows. <laughs> I keep these down here. But this is goes all the way across. Yeah, that's really nice. And but... right now, it's really empty because I don't have as much stuff as I yeah. brought. But I also have a big thing of tools to use. Mm -hmm. um, Getting windy out here. Huh? Yeah. Um, if I need a hammer, a, I don't have power tools or a saw. because Okay, I'm, just regular tools like yeah. hammer, um, screwdrivers, screwdrivers pliers. pliers. Okay, wrench I'd like to have something. a, yeah, wrenches. Mm -hmm. And then I have like magnets and, you know, that kind right. of stuff in there. And right now I have a little stool to sit on, three-legged stool, mm -hmm. and some more camp heat. This is a window cover for my windshield if I want to use okay. that in bad weather and on the outside. Got back in here, like yeah. Away. Now this is my uh, spare tire. Oh, okay. I don't have an actual spare tire, but mm -hmm. they give you this thing. Okay. And then I just put some garden gloves in here, mm -hmm. and. This is for when I'm at a campground and I need this oh, three-pronged yeah. thing. Yes. I've got that. Yeah, for 30 volt. And a little extension for plugging things in and just soap so I don't have to 
rummage all over for that. Yeah. And then uh, ponchos and you nice know, glue. Nice area for storage. Yeah. I like the way he did this. These were already here, these cubbies. You're kidding. And they didn't you have... like that? And, yeah, and they didn't have anything in them except this. And so we just kind of mm -hmm. added to it. Yeah. So... Nice. So okay. that's the second storage area. I like the craftsmanship on this uh, wood. Whoever made it, yeah. good job. If yeah, you're watching, they used that, good job. Used the finished plywood and all mm -hmm. that. Another great thing I have with my kitchen is a paper towel holder that's on the back here, screwed on the back, and I can just reach over and grab the towel. Oh, that's a great idea. So, and it works good. The only time it doesn't work is if I have a lot of blankets on and the blankets get up oh. to the paper towels and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I could move it around. But we'll we'll see. Well, this is my kitchen. This is my USB little personal blender. Okay. And it works with one or two frozen things, but mostly just fresh fruit. So you can make fresh fruit smoothies. Yeah, you can make smoothies. Okay. And I intended to eat a lot of those, but didn't. <laughs> um, I had my tea and coffee up here. I've taken it in the house right now. Yeah. But I have this to boil water, and it's actually a coffee maker as well. Oh, how does that work? Oh, it's like a French press, I think. So do you... Put that on so, the stove, or well, you I heat boil, the water first. I, I boil the water, and, and then, then I put, put the coffee in, in and oh, smoosh it down into the water. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, and it's got handles. Mm -hmm. like now, the stuff that you do have up here, does that go flying around? <laughs> no, actually, um, like these, so I really don't, don't, you don't need. Drive, drive on bumpy roads like I do. Huh? No, I've driven on a few, but. I also had this square little basket with tea bags in it, mm -hmm. and it stayed there. I usually had a dish something towel or something like that oh, over okay. it for the heat. That's smart. So, um, mm -hmm. well, and I just thought it covered it so people weren't looking in. So. Yeah. Um, we have this nice ledge all around it, too, yes. so that helps yes. to keep it. Yeah. So this drawer has all kinds of utensils in it. Oh yeah. And some stuff like my timer I never used, but little cups and all that. The, there's a few towels in the back mm -hmm. scrunched up there. And thankfully this doesn't go all the way back so I can set a little bottle of oil there. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Um, to cook with. And then the next shelf is the, the winner. Now, do you normally use paper goods, or do you use um, well, like I, a corral? Well, I or have what? regular melamine to use. Okay, that's what I started with, and then as I went along using my breakfast box, I thought if I just had a paper bowl, I could just throw it away. So I bought bowls, basically. Mm -hmm. You um, know what I found with using paper goods is that I can actually save them, and I could use them to help oh. start a fire. At That's a campsite. I've done that quite a bit. I didn't ever really start a campfire because I was in campgrounds when it was not allowed. Okay, yeah. So, a lot of them didn't. Uh, so I have a little one burner stove. I had a two burner at first and I it was too much. Well, this is the gas one, a dual gas one. This yeah. is exactly what I have. I yeah. love it. I love, love it. it. Love it. And, and I love to the use the butane. More highly of it. Yeah. The butane is the best. Yeah, turn that over so they can see how it look, sets yeah. up. So Such it just, a great thing. And one pot will fit on there. Mm -hmm. So I just, it's great. Yeah, it starts automatically that. and it just is so easy to use. Yeah. The butane seems to last quite a while. It does. I was surprised. Yeah. I finally did need some more and I was in a it small just, town in western Colorado. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find any. I had to go clear to Nebraska before I found some. Yeah, when you but find it, but you want to stock up. Yeah. I, I think I have about six pins now. That's why I have three right now. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show this? Or? Sure. Now, this, this this is interesting. This, my dad ha loved to camp. And he built this oven for our Coleman camp stove back then. And he made the little latch 
leather latch and stuff so you know it's probably built in the 60s mm -hmm. um, this is this is a camp stove it doesn't work on its own but it works on top of your regular stove so it's more like an oven right yep it's really an oven I'll get this out of the way so you unfold it to set it up this would be if you're going to be at a campground for a while or you know someplace where you're going to stay for a while and you want to make biscuits or you know cookies or something like that okay so this is the bottom down. Okay. and it sits right on the burner so pretend my stove is under here turn this around look how nice this is and oh there is goodness. your oven and you can open it up here is the grill that fits right inside uh -huh. but this one's just i just love it it's that just is so not, now, did you get a chance to use it or did you just pick it up i just had picked it up so i didn't really get a chance to use it my cousins had taken a bunch of my dad's stuff for me and i was saying you know i'd really like to have a little oven to try out and <laughs> so they looked at each other and they said should we give it back to her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do, because they don't have room for everything. So yeah, um, that's special. They gave it to me, so I was. I really love your van. I love the way you fixed it up. Actually, so. your village people fixed it up. Yes, it took a village to get me going. Um, so then this bottom shelf keeps pots all my pans. pots and pans, okay. and and you have some foldable ones there, don't you? Yes, this is a colander. Okay. I I haven't really used it. This lid I found at a Goodwill, but I thought it's perfect, mm -hmm. you know, to strain the water out of. Oh yeah, I like that. Something. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I have just this little tiny frying pan. What I don't like about it, I thought I would love these handles. So I have these little handles that fit on the. Mm -hmm. You don't love it? The reason I don't is because it's almost too small for the burner. You know, the oh. heat gets clear out here and okay. can almost burn you, but. And then these are the dishes, the melamine dishes I have. Mm -hmm. They're just, I just brought two plates and two little things. And I have a couple of little, uh, you know, plastic storage bin things. And uh, then I thought I might use, I was all ocean and sea, so I bought those. Those can go here. And I really wanted just a cereal bowl. <laughs> Yeah. Instead of these big things. So I bought that. But and I thought I'd use a mixing bowl. Have never used that. But no. I might when I if I mm -hmm. use my oven and stuff. So and then I have this big round one. Mm -hmm. So now that you have a home base here, what's your plan? You're gonna leave a lot of things here and just plan your trips and take just what you need yes. or what? So most of the things that you're showing us today are going to be stationary in your van. Right. And then whatever else you feel that you're going to need for your trip, you'll just bring yeah. along. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have quite a bit more storage that you could use. Right. I have a lot of storage since I've taken all the things out that I'm going to leave here. And I planned on staying here for the winter and then in the spring, I want to go back up to see my grandkids mm -hmm. in the Northwest. And I might stay in the Northwest for a while because I love it so much. Mm -hmm. So I might stay up there for a good part of the summer visiting people and playing around. And then, because there's, I got out here and there's so much to see just in one little area mm -hmm. that I hadn't even thought of. It's just wonderful that I can just like, oh, okay, well, I'll go there today. You know, yeah. and it's not exactly things you have to pay for, but it's just places to sit and watch the ocean or whatever. Right. So this side isn't used as much. Okay. I have a fold up camp chair here, a nice one with um, Can handles. Can you flip and... that? What, what is that, a sheet or something? What is that? No, there? this is a cover for the chair. Okay, your chair is back here. Yeah. And this red suitcase is all kinds of first aid stuff. I'm big on first aid, so. Okay. I got a lot of first aid stuff, and I, mm -hmm. since I was moving out of my apartment, I didn't want to leave like some of the little things there, so I just put it all in there. So you have one folding chair? Yes, and the little camp stool. And a camp stool. And I know a lot of people will use two to make others think there's more people at their campsite. Not worried about it? 
I'm just not worried about it. And often I just sat in the door of my van. But you don't necessarily whatever. boondock by yourself, right? No, I just did that a couple of times. I was way up in the mountains and uh, there was a road close by and it was a road for logging. Mm -hmm. And um, you just pulled off to the side, yeah. didn't even, yeah. It was, it was off the road in the forest a little bit, but people could see me and mm -hmm. all that. So I just didn't worry about it much. And otherwise, I've been in campgrounds. I, I sometimes stop at a KOA to take showers, do laundry, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and le if I wasn't at a friend's house. A lot of times I could just do that at a friend's house. So um, Now, when you camped with your grandson, you said that you hooked something up to the back of your Oh, yes. Your van. And that's in here. So this is my bed, yeah. as we saw. And that's just foam, memory foam. Yep. And here's the right, okay. hyper vent underneath it. Better, yeah. So I just lift this up. I said, I need a stick to prop that door open. And she <laughs> went to her wood pile and got a stick. Well, then it kind of wore down on both ends. So somebody gave me this. That's to put a great on the idea. Great <laughs> I just idea. cracked up. Yeah. But it worked. So um, this is a big storage area because it goes all the way down. And because the floor is built up, Mm -hmm. well, is that with one of those, the bed. Is that one of those picnic? Yeah, this is a picnic, picnic thing. I brought it because it's kind of I like thick. the tie dye on it. Did you make it? No, I bought it. At but you sew. Walmart. You told me you sew. Oh, I just started sewing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's oh, I like it's that. just like that. But I thought it would be warm. Uh -huh. But it's so slick on both sides that it just slides right off on the floor. Okay. So yeah, anyway. I know my sleeping bag like that too. So this is a tent that actually fits on the back mm -hmm. of the roof mm -hmm. and comes down on both sides mm -hmm. and the front and connects to the car. So you can have like a bug tent. It's got net on all sides. Mm -hmm. Or you can put an actual, this blue nylon tent over that and has Look stakes that. so you can stake both pieces down. And you can use it as a tent. And we did that with my grandsons. We used it as a tent. And I thought my grandsons would sleep in the tent. Get the full camping experience, right? <laughs> These are computer guys. So my 13-year-old grandson says, I'm going to sleep in the RV because my brother-in-law and his wife were with us. And they had a brand new RV. So he's like, I'm sleeping there. None of this camping stuff for me. <laughs> so then uh, my seven-year-old grandson says, Grandma, I want to sleep in your camp bed. So my other grandson slept there, and I ended up sleeping in the tent on the air mattress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was fine. We did great. That's what grandmas do, huh? <laughs> so anyway. So is that difficult to set up? Uh, the tent, mm -hmm. it is a little difficult. Okay. It really takes two people. Yeah. I mean, you can do it by yourself. But if the wind were blowing, it would be almost impossible. Okay. Um, I will spare you. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah I was going to ask a, you. A person on each side could do it easily. Uh -huh. So, to do it, so, anyway, that's those are my three big storage areas. Nice. Now, when I was coming here, because I was bringing so much stuff, I ended up using my front passenger seat as my closet. Mm -hmm. And I had all my clothes separated by pants and shirts and that kind of stuff. Right. Because you're basically moving out of your yeah. place and moving in here. Right. Yeah. So I basically put um, my clothes in, they were called e-bags, but they're packing cubes, nylon packing cubes, so I could pack stuff into them. Mm -hmm. And I even had one for my shoes. And then the other thing I put in the front seat on the floor was water. Oh, yeah. We didn't get your water. And yeah. I just bought gallons okay. of water. That works. And I'd buy about four gallons mm -hmm. at a time, and that was plenty. Yeah. There was only one time that I really was out of water and I needed to stop. Mm -hmm. Had to hunt for a little way because I was way up in the mountains. So I just made sure that the next time, you know, it was learning. Plan experience. ahead a little bit, yeah. yeah. I will tell you a funny story. I. Uh, with my little stove, I have, uh, it does connect to propane too. You can buy one of those green bottles of propane and hook it up instead of the butane. Well, the first 
one of the first times I used it, I'd store the propane hose inside the little uh, stove box. So I turned the burner over, put in my butane, started the stove, and put a pan on, and all of a sudden, flame shot up out of that stove, and I thought, I'm burning down my whole camp. So it just shot up and then went down. So I thought, good, so I turned off my stove real fast, and, and I burned a couple of my fingers a little bit uh -oh. trying to get it out of there. So it cooled all off, and so then I opened it up, and I had left the wound up propane hose in there and the rubber or plastic on the hose had started on fire so it's all melted so i have to buy a new hose if i want to use propane for your gas for, one yeah for my little gas one. Oh, okay <laughs> so good to know when you open the pa the the carrying case of your stove and also the little stove itself make sure you're not keeping anything in there in the case with the stove because it'll catch on fire good tip good tip yeah i have not used the propane with my gas one yet i've only yeah, used the i had butane. neither i just had stored the hose in there and mm -hmm. it caught on fire okay so over in this door i keep wasp spray so i have wasp spray here bear spray over there and my fire extinguisher right there yeah in the front door all right so Good thing and, to carry bear spray in the mountains, especially. <laughs> and I was in a lot of mountains, and there were bear signs everywhere, and the rangers would warn you, so bears are increasing. Mm -hmm. I know when I was in uh, camping in Tennessee recently, I had asked the camp host there, and she said, With, yes, there have been sightings, but now they're really going up into the trees. Yeah. So if you want to see bears, I, I said, no, I don't want to see bears. <laughs> He said, just look up into the look trees into and the you trees. might spot some. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I was at one campground, I think in the Sawtooth Mountains, and they uh, had metal signs screwed to the picnic tables that gave you the steps for keeping safe from bears, all your food and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was even afraid to cook out on the picnic table because mm. I was afraid bear might. But I don't cook meat, mm -hmm. so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I carried that bear spray with me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think okay. that's about it. Thank you so much. This has yeah. been so fun. <laughs> We're going to actually possibly venture out on a little caravan. We um, might. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how see. our... Next couple of days yeah, goes. How for the us. weather and everything is. Yeah, we're kind of waiting on the weather a little bit. It rained so. really hard here night before last night? Night before last night. A little night. bit last yeah. night. Not too bad. But yeah. so. we're gonna keep an eye on the weather and maybe we can get out. Yeah. Everybody helped with ideas and, and built things for me and it's just amazing. I just loved it. Yeah. It, it was just so helpful and nice and when I didn't have a sewing or I had a sewing machine but couldn't use it because mm -hmm. it was so packed um then people sewed for me and uh, great. well you have some great family and friends we, I do I am very blessed very blessed yeah and this trip was just great it energized me because during COVID I was ready to give it up yeah I just didn't know why I should keep on yeah my daughter passed yeah. away and then everybody moved from the town where I was all my relatives that I was close to and so I thought now what yeah and I said okay I'm doing this mm -hmm. I watched these YouTubes of different people all COVID winter long and I said okay I can do this with my van all right so in true travel grandma style we're gonna say see, see you on, on the road, road.